Hey Bikeaholics, Ryan Erlacher here, lawbitingbiker.com. Thanks for checking in. Behind me is my 2014 Street Glide Special. Today, we're gonna show you how to change the spark plugs. A couple things about spark plugs is, Harley recommends check your model, check your owner's manual, but most of them are every 30,000 or every two years. I can tell you from experience, they last a lot longer than that. Um, these are the original plugs and it's a 2014 and uh, we're just hitting about 35,000 on this bike, I believe. So I figured we'd do a video for you guys. The bike's still running fine. We've even got 50,000 out of plugs, but we always say, if you wanna be perfectly safe, follow your owner's manual. We're gonna show you how to install them and also how to gap them. And uh, with that said, let's start wrenching, huh? Real quick, before we get our hands dirty, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins the revolution. We'd love to have you be part of it. So for this project, we're starting with a 5 8 uh, socket. This is a spark plug specific socket. You'll see it has a rubber grommet in there. All right, and of course this is a V-twin, so we've got two uh, jugs and two plugs to contend with here. And he's gonna go ahead and go in and just pull the rubber cap off. And then he's gonna grab his 5 8 spark plug wrench there, of course. And start backing this plug on the rear jug out. We are using just stock uh, Harley uh, plugs, we got them from the dealership. There's tons of different brands. Do your research, It's they're all pretty much the same if they're of a quality brand. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but we just went with the stock Harley plugs on this one. All right, and he's got that one out of the rear jug here. All right, and he's moving up to the front jug there. Same exact thing. Pop your rubber boot. And I'll back it out with that 5 8 spark plug wrench. All right, and he has the front one backed out now. Real quick guys, if you appreciate all these free videos and what we're trying to do to help the Law Abiding Biker community, there is a way you can support us. You can become a patron member, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below. You can pledge a certain amount per piece of content that we put out, no risk, because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits of becoming a member. There's a private Facebook group that's blowing up. There's also a uh, access to premium videos and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, all the information is over. Hit the link, check it out. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, and the next thing before we put the new plugs in that we have, again, we just got these from the dealership. You need to make sure the gap is correct. Check your owner's manual, but for this, they're all pretty much the same as 0.038 to 0.043, and you'll see the graduation marks on that spark plug uh, gauge right there. And so you just run it. It's got a you know a lip, so to speak, that gets bigger, and you just run it out somewhere in between uh, those specifications I gave you. So maybe somewhere around 0.040 or 041. And it should stop right about there. And this one looks pretty good. If you do need to uh, uh, tighten it a little bit because it's too loose, you can uh, just push down steady on a good solid piece of metal. And then you can put it back on the gapper and uh, spread it open you know, to uh, the specific specifications that you need. So that's just a spark plug gapping tool. There's different types, but they're pretty cheap. So we're gonna check both of those before we put them back in. All right, so he has a spark plug appropriately gapped. He's just gonna finger start this down where at the front jug here. Always finger start him first, make sure you're not cross threading them. He'll get it in as far as he can with his fingers there. And he'll bring his 5 8 uh, spark plug socket there. It's on a torque wrench, 12 to 18 foot pounds. Make sure you check your owner's manual for your particular year. That's just the specs for this 2014 Street Glide Special. And you're just finishing up there. He'll put the final torque. And you heard the wrench pop there. And so we're good to go. And we'll do the same thing in the rear. All right, we're just getting finishing up, putting the boots on here. Make sure they seat down good. Don't forget all of our awesome tutorial videos, guys. We have an oil change and maintenance video for Hardys, along with a whole bunch of others. Uh, link will be in the description below to those videos, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash buy videos.